So I'm Vikash. Um, I don't know if I've met everyone yet. I haven't. But um, I am Adam's brother. Um, you can tell, you know, the very striking similarities. Um, I am very brown. He is very white. Um, he is very nerdy. I'm very dashing and handsome. And I'm just kidding. No, no. He looks incredible, doesn't he? I was hanging out with some college friends, you know, about three, three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago. And I told them I was going to Colorado to be the best man at my best friend's wedding. Um, and they were very excited for me. And they asked me to kind of describe Adam. And I started to think of adjectives um, that described Adam. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to focus on that one that describes the person. Uh, Adam is a... Uh, yeah, and a lot of uh, a lot of adjectives describe Adam. I'll just say that. Um, but um, I mean, he's fiercely loyal. He's enthusiastic. He's hilarious. Um, and his enthu uh, his enthusiasm. Um, but the one thing that I kind of wanted to focus on is he is extremely driven, especially. Um, I guess kind of following him throughout all of these all of his exploits in his life and all this uh, ever since you know middle school he was kind of more driven to blow things up uh, we were we were always uh, the kids that would you know I don't know fill fill up like a, a super soaker with gasoline and like shoot it you know or like you know or like you know just really stupid stuff make a potato cannon things like that and ironically right after that he became a firefighter um, so um, do you know the thing that is incredible about it is I've, I've never seen him more driven or more enthusiastic about anything or anyone than Devin. And if he can do what he's done so far in his life, I really can't wait to see what y'all do together in, uh, in, in y'all's lifetime. So um, I guess take care of him, Devin. You got my best friend. But uh, you know, keep keep him out of no fly zones. If you know what I'm saying. Like, don't make him. You know, but uh, yeah. So I guess toast to y'all in a lifetime full of happiness and love. Love you guys. My name is Emily. Um, I am Devin's maid of honor. We've known each other um, since we were two years old. Um, I brought notes because I'm a little bit nervous. You know how sometimes the stars just align and you know something's just meant to be. That's how it was when I met Devin 20 years ago. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy how a pretty you know, minor childhood friendship could turn into something so special. I've actually written this speech like five or six times because I didn't know what to say to really describe how I feel about you. <laughs> um, but I thought maybe sharing some of our childhood memories would be a good idea. <laughs> yes. So uh, Devin, I don't know if any of y'all know what snipe hunting is. <laughs> yeah. Devin took me snipe hunting. Snipe. Snipes don't exist. <laughs> but she convinced me that they do. And then we needed to carry these uh, pillowcases into the woods and attack the snipes. <laughs> and so shenanigans, basically. <laughs> um, also, we built these tripods out of just like trees and duct tape. And we would go into them, like get up inside of them. Because that's, you know, a safe thing to do when you're how old are we, like 13? And then we would play 007 on Nintendo 64 all night long, like zero sleep, when we were probably way too young to be playing 007. <laughs> this really isn't about us, it's about you and Adam. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit unsure when I heard that y'all got engaged after 19 days. But <laughs> literally did it for 19 days. Literally 19. But uh, after seeing how y'all interact with each other and seeing how much you care for her, I'm eligible. <laughs> I'm willing to pass on the torch. Because <laughs> she gets to be your best friend now. So, <clears throat> A little bit of advice, tell each other that you love each other every day, multiple times a day, because sometimes you're going to have to make yourself, but that's what's going to get you through. Take care of each other, to Devin and Adam. Uh, the Bible says that a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife. So in honor of that, your mother and I 
release you, son. <laughs> you are now officially belong to Devin. So Devin, you're stuck with him now. <laughs> <laughs> In Genesis 2 and 24, it tells us that is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Ephesians 5 and 31, for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and the nurture of their children in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God into this holy union. Adam McMurray, and Devin Comfer now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not be lawfully married, speak now or else forever hold your peace. Devin, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Adam, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others and be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. May all who enter your home experience the strength of your love and the witness of God's power in your life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. May God grant you the wisdom in all things, courage to face life challenges, discernment in God's leading, and confidence in executing his will. You will accomplish all that God has planned for your lives. Thus saith the Lord. So if you don't mind, let's say a prayer over these kids. Lord, thank you for this time together. Thank you for what you've done for them, for what you're doing in their future. Thank you especially, Lord, for everyone that's gathered here with us, for their witness to their vows, and for their support and love for them. We honor you and praise you for this moment. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. You can read the